protein in urea today we're going to be talking about protein in urea what causes protein in urea the damages it does and finally how to treat protein in urea how to stop protein from being in your urine the um, treatment and including the home remedies now please if you're seeing me for the first time my name is nurse merit and i'm a nephrology nurse so basically um dialysis kidney is my specialty and that's why i specialized on so if you have your questions either um, drop them in the comment section or you can send them on my instagram handle now this channel is basically for your health everything about your health it helps you improve your health women's health um kidney heart if you're already on dialysis this channel will help you a lot um you know reduce this is um kidney disease progression diabetes high blood pressure and for women too but basically women's health ovulation getting pregnant twin and all but basically pid infection basically this channel is is for your kidney so we are doing more of kidneys in this channel but my women are not left out so please hit the subscribe button and the notification button if this is your first time joining us here now i made a video about um for me urine please if you've not watched it i think you should go and watch it protein in urine if you've been diagnosed let's get to it if you've been died if your doctor tells you that your there's there are protein in your urine the first thing you will have to note is that ask is that is your kidney are your kidneys working well this is because protein is not supposed to be in the urine okay it's supposed to be protein is supposed to be in the blood okay so when your kidney filters um you know the blood removing um wastes trying to make you ring and all the protein is too big to pass into the glomerulus it's not supposed to pass through so it's, it remains back in the blood so for whatever reason that um protein is seeping out of your blood it means that something is going on on the kidneys that the kidneys are either not filtering properly or they are damaging or it has become porous so it means that something is going on in the kidney but however protein in the urine doesn't um always mean that you have chronic kidney failure but it's an indicating sign that you need to sit up that you need to find out what is going on in your in your um, kidneys now one of the signs that may suggest home signs that may suggest that protein is in your urine is usually bubbly urine i've made a video about bubbly urine um here though i didn't really explain in detail but it's a five minutes video it will give you a head start so if you're noticing bubbly urine or foamy foamy your urine it may be an indicative sign that your kidneys that um there's protein in your urine okay so locate that video there are other causes of bubbly urine but locate that videos of bubbly urine here so don't rely on bubbly urine um your urine bubbles or foam so you feel that you have kidney failure no just get tested and you know check your result your doctor will then explain better to you you can also check um if you're exposing in your urine by doing a home urine test if you can't go to the hospital or if you can't go to the lab if you just go to the lab it's not um expensive i think it should be like probably like one thousand or two thousand naira in nigeria i don't know but it's a very small money or you can do it at home get a urine dip stick and match the colors you will see the instructions um how to do the home test you know check if there's protein in your urine if it's less than uh, more than 30 grams then there's problem you probably need to go and see a doc you need to go and see a doctor not probably but i suggest you just go to a laboratory and do it but if you want to do a home test get the dip stick urine test i'm putting it match the colors i will put um how it is so you match the colors for all the instructions you will see if there are things that are in your urine the deep stick will show you at home now it's also very important to note that if there are other signs of kidney issues kidney um, damage like um your tired fatigue um you know rashes stomach getting big vomiting um urinate um small amount of urine or urinating voluminously you know pain tiredness um you can't eat properly please okay the video on signs that your kidneys are failing now why is protein in, is protein in urine serious it depends okay if you just had protein 
um, the kind of protein in urine that you're having. If it's just protein in urine, at first, that means something is going on. So if you detect, if you're able to detect this on time, there is no problem. But if you, um, if you don't detect it on time and maybe the kidneys have already started failing and you know then that means it may progress to kidney failure but this is why i advocate that you go check your kidneys go check your um, system don't wait for the signs that something is going on on your system or in your kidneys because most of the time the kidney does failure does not show sign before you start getting all these signs that i mentioned on the signs that your kidneys are failing your kidney may, must have gone about let's say 90 percent okay so please make sure you get to check yourself so most of the times protein in urine can also be seen in people that have kidney failure already um your your kidney has been damaged already okay but however kidney um protein coming out of your urine if you're already having kidney failure or whoever the person is okay it's not a good thing because it will make you lose albumin it will always make you get tired so this is why Everyone, whether you've been diagnosed with kidney failure or not, you need to be very attentive on how to lower protein in urine. The first thing to do, especially if you're in stage 1 or stage 2 kidney disease or generally, the first thing to do is to reduce food that are um, high in phosphorus and protein. Animal protein especially. Because the end, pro the end um, product, okay, the kidney has to work on, the, um, on your protein level, on the protein especially animal protein that you eat you know filter it and at the end of the day more um, amino acid is formed at the end of the day more protein is being filtered at the end of the day your kidney is being stressed out so you reduce food high in phosphoric acid example um, beverages cola products um, fizzle drinks all this you know what cola cola is so all those drinks reduce it okay and um, just food that are high in phosphorus and also reduce even milk too yeah also um reduce animal protein beef pork all those protein you can eat lean meat fine lean meat then um eat more of plant-based um diet i'm not saying you should be a vegan now you eat plant-based diet you eat you know I'm, I'm going to put a picture yeah so the main thing is reduce your protein intake reduce phosphoric phosphoric um food that are rich in you know phosphorus reduce um processed food like um processed food yeah generally processed food like shawarma what 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 have you all those processed food canned food all those food that take away eatery pastries all those food reduce them reduce the way you eat them reduce your sugar intake okay go on plant-based diets in order to guide you on the food to reduce and the food um the food to avoid i beg your pardon and the food to take look at this at the um, picture these are the food to avoid and then these are the food to inculcate in your diet let's get to how to reduce your blood um protein in your urine firstly part two number one please check your blood sugar levels if your blood sugar level is uh, fasting blood sugar level is more than 100 you have to keep it in check 100 um, uh, minimal is normal anything more than 100 to 125 is pre-diabetes then more than 125 is diabetes so you have to keep your blood pressure your blood sugar level in check check your drugs have um, a, a good diet that will you know I, I think i have a video on yeah diets for diabetes but you can also you know monitor your your blood sugar level work your blood sugar level you know make sure that your blood sugar level at any is normal at any time make sure your blood sugar level is normal best way to do this is don't smoke eat healthy what do i mean by eating healthy at first avoid simple carbohydrates avoid processed sugar avoid processed meat eat more fruits um, eat more vegetables you know make sure you move more you can add exercise very low impact exercise on your regime move more don't always stay you know at a place manage your weight if you're so big make sure um, you're obese i beg your pardon make sure that you manage your weight to the nearest minimum to um the optimal level but the most important thing is make sure you watch your diet the second thing is blood pressure make sure your blood pressure is on check if you don't have 
um, if you have high blood pressure, most people don't even know that they have high blood pressure because most times there are no signs. However, I have signs of high blood pressure and causes of high blood pressure to locate the video. I also add it on the you know link. So if you had high blood pressure, make sure you manage your high blood pressure very well. There are diets, you know, dash regimen. Okay, diets for people that have high blood pressure. If you don't inculcate these diets, which number one is eliminating salt. Reducing to the barest minimum, I have a video on how to manage your blood pressure here too. I'll put a link. Please watch it, okay? Make sure your blood pressure is in check. These two things, diabetes and high blood pressure, are the two leading causes of kidney failure. So if your blood pressure is high, is not being managed, kidney, your kidneys are damaging. Same thing as your um, um as diabetes your kidneys are damaging protein gradually there is inflammation in the kidneys gradually these things are beginning to leak in your kidneys process is beginning to leak in your kidneys and over time your kidney will be damaged or if you have um ckd already it's it will keep your um, gfr will keep decreasing and decreasing and decreasing okay even if you have if you are on dialysis same thing so the key is blood pressure managing and diabetes okay with your food so if you if you have high blood pressure by now you should know that you shouldn't smoke you have to stop smoking okay please life, lifestyle modification is very necessary make sure you have a lot of rest enough rest okay so that when you're resting your kidneys and your organs too are resting now the very important way to you know decrease protein in urine and your general kidney health is reduce non steroid and anti inflammatory drugs. I can't say avoid them, but I, I can't say eliminate them, but avoid them. Example ibuprofen, anazaporine, all those drugs, they've been a research that they affect your kidneys. Please reduce the way you take them, especially if you have kidney failure, you don't take them at all. There are drugs that is prescribed for you, okay, in place of them. If your kidneys are damaging, if you please avoid these drugs. They add stress on your kidneys, make them work a, a lot more, and they hurt your kidneys. Now, based on my research, there are three home remedies that will help you. One, taking Rishi mushroom, right? Rishi mushroom or ga uh, Ganodama lucidum. This um, mushroom helps in lowering your blood sugar level. It treats um, fibromyalgia. It helps protect the kidney strengthens your mental health and finally it helps reduce your blood sugar level so consuming this um kind of mushroom but you have to check if you have mushroom allergy is has been proven to be good on your kidney health it helps um reduce inflammation in your kidneys and helps your kidney you know reduce the stress on your kidneys that reminds me if you have um you cannot actually also check the size of your kidneys do a ct scan if your kidneys are shrinking means something is going on on the kidney apart from the other investigation that i mentioned on how on tests to check for your kidney now i know your next question will be how do you get this ratio motion you can get it um it's being sold you can get it in the supermarket or in the food market or it can be sold as a a supplement you can also get it in amazon or you know it can be sold anyway so it is also good for you how to take this um reishi mushroom is two grams per day um this has been tested okay this um dosage has been tested for a month so um you can take it up to a month it has been <clears throat> considered safe but please consult with your doctor before you take any remedy or any herbal remedy especially if you're taking medication if you're taking um your have chronic kidney failure any medications at all please consult your doctor first before you take any herbal remedy so before you get this reishi mushroom in supplement you can find a brand that has already been you know approved by international agencies okay you don't just go out there and you pick anything please make sure that the brand you're getting is registered they are supplement kind of it you can look for um the ones that have the usp seal the united states seal or the npf seal uh, sorry nsf seal international national seal okay to be safe now the most powerful remedy for getting rid of protein in urea is taking omega-3 acid yes i kept the best for the last i actually have a second um remedy the third remedy but i don't think i will mention it in this video because the video is already long long enough so the third remedy that i have is the best is omega-3 omega-3 is wonderful i take omega-3 you can get omega-3 in some of your food um elements i'm posting a 
posting a picture but however we may not get the amount that we need especially when you are having protein in urine already or kidney failure omega-3 is very good so you can actually get omega-3 in capsule in supplement okay i take if so omega-3 has actually been shown to reduce or decrease the progression of chronic kidney failure so it is also very good in reducing protein in urine it can help you with um joint pain it can even help prevent cancer it can help you sleep properly omega-3 is very important so while buying omega-3 it is very important to buy the omega-3 that has up to 300 milligram e, um, epa and dha please look out for this content because most omega-3 most brands are out there and they don't have the, the active ingredients and not much okay so you, you don't just say you're taking omega-3 you don't know the active ingredients if what you're looking for is there so get the one that has up to 300 milligram okay of this um, eph epa and dha yes please this is very important i take omega-3 my family takes omega-3 omega-3 can help lower your blood pressure it can help keep it in check it can help you um, with cholesterol it is very it's a supplement you should not sleep on it can also help women boost their um, ovulation it can help with your skin and help with your brain locate the video on the supplements you should be taking um, supplement that every woman should be taking i also have the supplement for men that are having sperm low sperm counts causes of low sperm counts all those videos are there on my youtube channel i'll see if i can put a link in my bio to watch all of them. so omega-3 and um some of and other tips that we mentioned in this video <clears throat> will help you reduce protein in urine treat it or reduce it okay so please make sure you adhere to this thing and find out what is causing your own protein in urine if you want to know more about how to protect your kidneys i have a video pinned already on my profile right and i will also see if i can put a link on my in this video so that you can watch it so please make sure you subscribe hit the notification button and you follow us have a nice day